Can I welcome you to my digital sacred space? I hope you're happy, healthy, and healing wherever you're watching from. Today I'm doing a very special reading that I am so so excited about. I am going to be painting your future spouse's energy today. So I'm gonna start with painting, otherwise, it will take too long because yeah painting usually takes a long time and this is also a bigger sheet of watercolor paper that i'm using so yeah i'm gonna start with the background first and talk to you i feel like a lot of you are clicking on this video for the first time or here on my channel for the first time then hello this is mystique and i am an intuitive artist and a watercolor um, I'm an intuitive artist and a class ancient tarot reader. Why did I say watercolor? Hmm. I don't know. So as I paint, I'm going to be channeling messages from your future spouse regarding whatever they want to say. This is going to be a very calming ASMR like reading, at least that's what I want it to be. If you are returning then you must have already seen my channeled painting series where I did a video on what your life is going to be like with your future spouse so I'll leave a link for that just in case you're curious and you want to watch that one you can watch that one and come back here or you can directly watch this one and then watch that one and I hope you find these energy paintings as relaxing and as comforting as I do. So the reason why I wanted to do a channeled energy painting is because um, I wanted it to keep it very energy focused instead of gender focused or you know physical appearance focused because I wanted my collective to recognize their future spouse based not on what they look like externally but on what they feel like so i wanted to paint the energy just to get you familiar with what they are like inside instead of outside you know because physical appearances are not going to be the same and i know that there's going to be thousands of people that watch this reading and um, yeah it's not possible that all of your future spouses look the same so which is why I want to keep this very energy focused instead of gender focused or physical appearance focused and that's what I'm gonna do and so basically since I am an intuitive artist I paint energy right so I'm going to be painting your future spouse's energy and what they will be like towards you and the reason why um, I can paint your energy is because I can connect to your future I can connect to your spirit guides and download messages and they show me the colors and the visions and that's how I do my channeled energy painting so all of these paintings usually have um, your future spouse's energy contained in them so at the end I'm gonna ask you to Take a screenshot if you like just in case you want to have that energy around you for a longer time um, just keep it somewhere that you're exposed to it like your wallpaper or you can print it out and keep it in a photo frame or something so you're always exposed to their energy and that will help you kind of bring your future spouse in quicker yeah 
so that's what i wanted to say so if you know if in case like i paint the face blue or green or something and don't don't leave a comment like oh nobody is blue nobody has like blue colored skin uh, yes i know but we are not painting your future spouse's physical appearance we are painting their um energetic appearance right what they look like on the inside basically that's what i'm painting today so i just wanted to let you know that so there is no confusion my channel painting energy get so much love and thank you so much for appreciating them loving them i enjoy it as much as you do it makes me happy to see that you're enjoying these readings with me because watercolor is my passion and i really love to paint and it's so nice to see that you love it just as much as i do so thank you for all of your sweet comments you guys are so sweet so the primary colors that i was shown for you was um, like a lunar bluey kind of color then i was shown indigo which is this one i was also shown this um, color that i am using right now this is a combination of alizarin crimson and dioxazine purple from the winsor newton also one of my absolute favorites this combination just i don't know like satisfies my soul i really love this combination so i was shown these colors and i also painted this um, i also drew this intuitively so i did not um, plan this i don't i don't do this my way i ask your spirit guides on what they want this painting to be like and um, to tap me into your future spouse's energy and your energy and help me and that's what helps me create this painting so i just wanted to let you know that i don't pick these colors out myself so how is life so far whoa And so this is the first layer of paint. It's very light. So I'm going to start with lighter tones first and then I will darken it up. And uh, I was actually going to paint uh, the face first, but yeah, I'm doing the background first, I guess, because um, your spirit guides kind of took me there. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention is that um, I must have I I've written in the title for feminine energy. So what the, what that means is that if you have feminine energy or you are a woman watching this or if you you don't have to be but um if you have feminine energy then this reading is for you. If you are a man or you have masculine energy and you are drawn to masculine energies then you can still keep on watching this video if you are drawn to men. then you can still watch this video but uh, the energy that i'm painting today i feel like is predominantly masculine but i'm not keeping this gender focused i'm keeping this energy focused so even if you are a man you know it doesn't matter what your gender is you can still watch this reading but yeah i just wanted to mention that just in case um you are confused because yeah I have not seen anything else um like this on YouTube before so I want to let you know that But your spirit guides are saying um it doesn't matter they'll give you messages through me anyway the messages that you need to hear from your future spouse at this time so yeah Wow
I feel like your future spouse has a very fresh kind of energy and uh, if your spirit guides took me to lunar blue now if you are a returning subscriber i feel like um, you know you you if you're already part of my family then you already know that this color is one of my absolutely favorite favorite colors this is from the daniel smith extra fine watercolors this is called lunar blue and i'm going to show you a close up of this later but it literally looks like the ocean to me it literally looks like the ocean to me and i love it so much and the fact that your spirit guides took me to this color first of all made me so happy because this is my favorite but since this always reminds me of the ocean i feel like your future spouse whether they are female um, male or um identify as non binary no matter what their gender is i feel like they might have a lot of water placements and earth placements in their chart i feel a very ethereal kind of energy as if they're So the camera is not really picking up picking it up but can you see these pockets of watercolor that have gathered on the paper yeah that tells me that your future spouse really has a very unique presence but i feel like i, I feel like they've spent their life feeling or being misunderstood and i feel like they're waiting for you because i feel like you also confirmation if you heard that word you also have a very similar energy to them and you both will understand each other on an extremely deeper level i feel like a lot of you could be psychic or could have some clairsentient or clairvoyant abilities where you will be you know when i finish this painting i feel like you will know exactly what their energy is like and you're going to recognize their energy even in even if they are in a crowd i feel like because i feel like you're really tapped into your intuition and your psychic abilities that your spirit guides are always helping you hone and that's what i feel for you yeah and i feel like they also have a similar energy where they are very drawn to you they are, they are going to be very drawn to your physical appearance but you are going to be drawn to their internal appearance you are going to be drawn to their energy their heart and i feel like you already know that oh i know this is my person kind of thing but not because of uh, because they're beautiful outside or something like their eyes or something it's because you will recognize them through their energy and i feel like they are going to be drawn to you on a 3D level meaning your physical appearance i feel like they are going to find you very attractive when you first meet or during your first encounter but i do see that they will eventually start liking you for your soul so that was the first layer of paint and i also was suddenly drawn to the lips for some reason and i feel like they are going to want to kiss you when they first meet you but of course they are not going to do it without your permission don't worry they are going to pace themselves they are going to be patient they are going to wait they are not going to be in a hurry they are not going to force you to do something that you don't want to do so don't worry don't worry it's going to be fine okay that's what i wanted to say but yeah i feel like yeah very drawn to your physical appearance but you will be drawn to their energetic appearance i'll also teach you how to tap into the energy of your future spouse if you don't know um basically as i do as i paint this painting you can close your eyes and ask yourself how do you feel as you paint as i paint this painting how are you feeling when you watch the colors flow how are you feeling when the color spreads on the paper if that doesn't work you can <laughs> skip to the end or wait until the end to see what the finished what the complete and finished painting looks like and then you can close your eyes put your hands over the screen that you're watching like over the painting and tap in and ask your spirit guides to tap in 
to the energy of your future spouse, the person on your mind, your soulmate, your divine counterpart, whatever you want to call them. And that's how you connect to your future spouse's energy. So the first layer is dry. I'm going to start with the second one and I mixed um, some lunar blue and indigo here. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Wow. I can't get over this color. Anyway, let's start with the second layer. So I've put down the second layer of paint and I'm going to wait for it to dry. Um, I also feel like your future spouse has a very either like a fox like appearance or there's this thing about them looking like they're very clever but actually they're very innocent. <laughs> um, I feel like people might misunderstand them or think that your future spouse has evil intentions even though they don't and I feel like this could be uh, the same for you where people might think oh we cannot trust this person because they look so and so and you know we shouldn't listen to this person but I feel like you don't really have any evil intentions as such you're innocent in the sense where you really want the best for everyone and you don't wish bad for anyone that's what I feel and yeah i felt that people might not know this about you and your future spouse when you meet they'll figure it out later or they'll find out later but not in the beginning that's what i feel i also was drawn to the oceanic appearance it was almost like spirit was taking me inside the ocean to get inside the energy of your future spouse so i feel like they are very watery if they don't have water placements i feel like for some of you your future spouse does not have water placements spicy scorpio cancer but they are very emotionally sensitive and emotionally intelligent and perceptive and they really pay attention to what's going on around them and they are sensitive to things and problems that society faces or humanity faces as a collective and um, I, I'm being taken to that song by August D 
from BTS. He's one of the rappers of BTS, and um, his newest song is called Hegum. And the word Hegum, it's a it's a Korean language. It's a twist on because it can it means two things, and I forgot the first thing that it means. But the second thing is like a revolution. So I feel like they might be interested. Your future spouse also has a similar energy where they might be interested in bringing some sort of a revolution or some sort of um, reforming change in society. They must have, uh, they have personally gone through this problem, and they understood that okay, this is a problem with the system. This has nothing to do with them. This is how the system is built, and they want to change things. They want to shake things up. And so I feel like your future spouse is rebellious, but not to hurt someone. They are rebellious because they have their own sense of their their own way of speaking, their own way of expressing themselves, and they're really stubborn in the sense where they don't listen to anybody else when it comes to expressing themselves. And why should they, right? So that's what I felt for your future spouse. Yeah, very beautiful energy, very balanced. I feel like they have a good sense of self, but they are also very giving in a relationship. They are going to be very giving towards you. If you are, if you have not received love in your past, for some of you, I, that's what I'm feeling. You were not around authority figures that loved you and accepted you unconditionally. I feel like this person is going to give you that, or this person is going to be a force for you. Where you will be able to express each and every part of you. They have such a high degree of self acceptance, and that helps them accept other people and other people's flaws. They don't have unrealistic expectations of people. So, if you had a boundary and you said, you know, this is what makes me uncomfortable, they would be very okay with that. They would be like, yeah, it's okay. I don't mind. We can do things your way. We don't have to, you know, do everything my way. And they are really flexible and they are mutable. I heard mutable. So yeah, very strong Pisces energy. They are going to be making space for you. They will um, accommodate you. They will make you feel like you are important to them, which you are obviously. But they'll make you feel like. Really good about yourself, and I was uh, actually going to for the background. I was actually going to do like a square, but not a square like this. A square like this kind of like, with the 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 two with the diagonal being the straight line like this. But for some reason, I was drawn to circles, which again tells me that they are very flexible with you. They are going to be very flexible with you. They're not going to force you to do things that you don't want to do. I'm going to put this color here just because it's getting in the way. I also felt for some of you, your future spouse, no matter what their gender is, whether they are male or female or non-binary, doesn't matter. But they could have really sharp jawline and foxy almond-shaped eyes. So if they are a female, they could do like a cat-shaped liner. You know, have you seen those liners where they, there's a cat-shaped eyeliner, the dark feminine makeup, kind of like a Alexa Demi. Um, you know her makeup. She's known for her eyes and her full lips and. Yeah, that kind of if if your future spouse is a female and you're drawn to females, this is what they might look like. And if you are drawn to masculine energy or me ma or men, males, then they have a really sharp jawline, very chiseled. I see very chiseled cheekbones and um, heavy lidded eyes, where the eyelid kind of droops over the eyelid. No, wait, I said that wrong. I forgot the name of those eyes. They are a type of eyes, and they're beautiful. But you see how the eyes are here. They kind of droop over their lashes. The eyelid kind of droops over their lashes, with which makes their um, eyes appear even narrow and small, like very intense eyes. If this is a man that you are drawn to, very intense eyes. They are going to pull you in with the eyes. It's possible that when you first meet them or you know when you have your first encounter they will be you will be pulled in by the 
energy that is exuding through their eyes you'll understand oh my god yes this 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 is the person this is this could be the one this could be my future spouse and i you feel that strongly strongly for you yeah i was also told foxy eyes foxy eyes very fox like eyes i think that is why people might have mis- misunderstood them in the past where people thought oh this person is not a good person or whatever because look at what they look like and i feel like their physical appearance is kind of the opposite of who they are inside and there is a there's a there's a like a dichotomous difference between what they look like and who they are on the inside so they might be a gentle person but they look like they are very tough and confident all the time because they might have a resting b face you know you know what i'm talking about right i can't say bad words but they might have like a resting b face but when they smile it's like the whole world lights up and the whole world is so beautiful again and that's what i feel that's what i feel for the future um for your for the appearance of your future spouse they are very beautiful very beautiful no matter what their gender is people find them very attractive no matter what the gender is people find them very attractive a lot of people are going to be drawn to your future spouse like moths to a flame even when they are in a relationship i feel like this is going to be the case like there's going to be a lot of people and you're going to have to <laughs> um have a hard time kind of keeping other people <laughs> away from your future spouse that's what i felt but nonetheless it's a beautiful energy it's a really beautiful energy i'll leave a link to that song in the description so you can go and listen i'm also being taken to i'm sorry if you can hear the cicadas they're so loud they i have a tree outside my window and uh, my window is open because i like to paint in sunlight i i feel like it helps me connect to your energies better the more natural the better and yeah so if you don't like that sound i'm really sorry but yeah um what was i saying yeah the foxy eyes very alexa demi kind of eyes i feel like some of you might not be familiar with her but she is one of the lead actresses in the um hit show called euphoria and yeah they might uh, you know how she is in that uh, in that series she's very confident she's very tough she does not stay quiet she cannot be put down she's not somebody who's who will kind of take abuse she is in a toxic relationship um with what was the boy's name nathan i think it was nathan yeah she was in a toxic relationship with this nathan guy but um at the end i feel like she frees him herself himself from him and she is like no i'm not going to be with him and i am feeling a similar energy for a future spouse where they might have dated somebody um in their past who was toxic to them or i don't feel like it's a good energy this person whoever your future spouse dated in the past this person was really really not meant for them but they had to learn some kind of important lesson your future spouse had to learn some kind of important lesson which is why i feel like this person came into their life but i feel like the time you meet your future spouse they are going to be free of that kind of malicious energy so i don't feel like they are going to be even talking to this person or have any contact with this person i feel like they are really they're like i'm done with this i don't want this and bye oh sorry the camera is shaking
you could meet them during some kind of a celebration or some kind of a party some kind of a celebration or some kind of party that's what i'm seeing like a marriage or some of you i feel like you could be meeting them at a wedding but not necessarily this is not for everyone just just for a few of you you could be meeting them at a wedding but yeah it is some kind of a celebration that i'm sensing it is some kind of a celebration So I'm going to be starting with putting down the third layer of paint and uh, is there anything else which is pause It's possible that uh, for some of you you could be dating they could be a model I'm seeing a male model on the runway with um, the black leather clothes I think it was for Givenchy or Dolce and Gabbana uh i don't i forgot the name of the fashion show but it feels like a high end brand so they could be rich they could be financially abundant uh they might not dress like that in their in their everyday life because they might like to wear you know normal clothes and be like a normal person <laughs> not wear luxury items every day but they are financially abundant and they are going to be able to provide for you so you don't have to worry about finances so much if you are a female especially or if you have feminine energy and you're drawn to masculine energy or men then i feel like this man has incredibly chiseled model like appearance they're very good looking even if they don't have any chiseled appearance like you know features or whatever they are still considered extremely attractive and good looking by you and by other people So for some of you they could be a model take this message as it resonates because I don't think this is for everyone but for a lot of you uh they could be a model Yeah I'm sorry you guys the video got cut off there But yeah I'm painting the second layer I'm feeling for a lot of you they are going to really love giving you massages and they are no matter what their gender is they are going to love giving you massages they will love giving you I just heard kisses but and also letters so they might be somebody who is a little old fashioned when it comes to romance they they are going to like giving you handwritten notes even even if you are in the same house they leave little notes like oh i'm going here please have breakfast you know i've made breakfast for you and they leave a note on your pillow and when you wake up you'll find that that note is there oh my god that is so sweet wow that was so unexpected that was beautiful Your future spouse is coming through to say words cannot describe how much I am in love with them. Like I could not possibly explain just how much they are in love with you. Wow, the air is really strong today. The camera is shaking because of the air. 
a closed window. Hope you guys are having fun so far or relaxing at least. Your future spouse could like um, oceanic creatures or have some kind of uh, connection with the ocean for sure. They could be living near an island or a water body, some kind of a lake or there could be a lake where you live, a river where you live. Um, some, they have a divine connection with water like me. A hundred percent. But you know how I'm a watercolor artist? I feel like even if they are not an artist, I just feel like they they do something with this connection with their connection with water even if it's not the same as me they have uh, healing capabilities I don't know if they have tapped into it yet but I do sense that they have a lot of healing capabilities I feel like they haven't though they could be they could start to look into it but I am feeling that for a lot of them they might not know yet There is a strong psychic connection. I feel like in your in your th in your five D, I feel like you guys are already connected. You guys are already connected in the five D. I didn't feel like. On an energetic level, they already know your energy and they already know that you mirror them somehow. I feel like they have an idea about what their future spouse is like. So they have an idea about who you are or, you know, what you do. And when you meet, you might have conversations like, oh, I knew you would be this way. Oh, I knew you would like coffee. Oh, I knew this about you. And you're going to be shocked. Like, how did you know that? We've literally just met but they know <laughs> they know they know a lot of things about you that that i feel like they that might shock you but they are going to be very tapped into you very tapped into you i also feel a strong uh, cancerian kind of energy from them so they are very tapped into you they don't have to be a cancer but I just feel like the way they express their love, the way they are making themselves available for you, especially if this is a man that you are watching for, then they have a very nurturing way of loving. Like the way, the primary way they give love is to make you feel cared for, is to make you feel loved, make you feel at home make you feel like you belong make you feel understood they're going to listen to you even if you speak for hours about something that they have never heard of or they you know might not be interested in but they are going to listen to you if you speak about it that's that's the amount of respect and love they have for you this is beautiful i love this so much for you palam of palam <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to saying like pile number one, two and three. So I was going to say that. But yeah, I'm going to wait for this layer to dry. And while it dries, I'll channel for you. 
there's also uh, they could be a poet too for some of you they could be a poet now they could either be a poet professionally i mean officially or they could be somebody who writes poems that's what i'm feeling now do you see this kind of textures that watercolor has formed this is the reason why i was saying that your future spouse feels very oceanic to me they feel very oceanic i did say that they have an angelic kind of presence or it's it's a presence that's out of this world your future spouse could be a star seed as they call it or they could be a light worker or they could be part of the collective that is here for formation of the new earth and um, they really stoked about it i feel they really excited about it but i do feel like they have gone through a lot to be where they are right now they've gone through a lot to be where they are right now and they are going to if you are suffering or if you have something that you want to address or you have to heal in your life i feel like they are going to help you with that they are going to be there for you and they are going to look after you and they are going to help you with whatever it is that you're suffering from they are going to be able to give you divine guidance advice or wisdom if you are inquiring for a female or a woman if you are attracted to women then i feel like she has a very high priestess kind of energy to her she is going to tap into her intuition and give you solutions to problems to your questions to your problems that you can't ask anyone else she's going to make sure that she is there for you that she is helping you through it and that she's not abandoning you i feel like she is she or he or they they will really try to ensure and make to make you feel like you belong and that you have a place to listen to be heard i heard yeah to be heard a place to be heard a place to belong a place to be seen and that place is called their arms <laughs> they're so romantic <laughs> that they're, they're so romantic that just came through and they're like my arms my arms are their home so if you're watching this your home is your future spouse's arms this is what they want to say to you Now I'm going to start painting the face of your future spouse and yes your spirit guides called me to this color this is the manganese blue i think it's called and it's one of my favorite blues obviously Wow. I'm being taken to that perfume by Mugle. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called Alien. That's the name of the perfume. It's called Alien. I don't know what it smells like, but your future spouse also has a very alien-like energy. So, I was drawn to that
can you give us any personality traits please spirit some personality traits please now i know the color is barely showing up in the camera but yeah this is the color your future spouse um, has a personality trait of being extremely sharp at times even cutthroat with their words it's not intentional they're not doing it to hurt someone it's just that they don't tolerate nonsense i that's what i'm getting for some reason they don't tolerate nonsense and they'll be like okay bye if you are somebody that is going to waste my time bye it's a very no nonsense policy i heard no nonsense policy so they have they don't tolerate things like disrespect um they don't um they don't like they don't let people talk over them they have a really strong presence but they also very gentle so there is a like they hold they are able to hold both of these traits together simultaneously they don't think being gentle is weak or being aggressive is strong you know very balanced and very beautiful that's what i feel I'm just going to mapping out some shadows. they might also like singing songs to you or singing lullabies to you now i don't know if you like that but if you do your future spouse is definitely going to like it
definitely has some strong kind of moonic energy definitely definitely because now that i've painted the hair for some reason they are showing me that and yeah Again, I'm feeling strongly that they have a very, I heard sinister. <laughs> so for some of you, they might look like a bad boy or a bad girl, but they are not like that inside. They don't, they treat people with a lot of respect and love. So it's not like that, even though that's what they look like. Yeah, that keeps coming through for some reason that, that the physical appearance and the personality traits of your future spouse are the opposite and they are not the same that they don't match and I feel like people might get shocked by how nice your future spouse actually is Now I'm not feeling like they have long lashes, I'm feeling they have short lashes, so that's what I'm doing. Now if you are a female watching this and you, um, I mean your future spouse is a man or you're drawn to men and masculine energies, uh, this portrait, um, not portrait but this painting might feel very f like kind of feminine to you but like I've already said I feel like they have a really good relationship with their own kindness and compassion. I'm sorry if you can hear that siren, I've, there's an ambulance going through I think. But they have really, and also look at this nose, This the vibe of this painting kind of reminds me of that movie Avatar, so it's like your connection and your romance is it's not going to be of this world, it's going to be something that's out of this world. So for, for a lot of you, this might be shocking or if you don't like this painting but you still stayed or watched um, the entire video, then I feel like there might be this feeling of them not being your type at first and then you realize, oh, this person actually isn't what I thought they were and then you start to talk and you start to like them. For some of you, the um, your future spouse could be Asian because of you know this eye I just feel like for some of you they could be Asian but not for all of you that's only for some of you not all of you that was a very specific message so take that as it resonates
also if you are a female and inquiring for a man then i do feel like um, no matter what their gender they have really full and luscious lips even if they are a man i feel like you might be drawn to each other's lips at first when you meet i feel like that's a physical feature that your future spouse might might notice in you and that you might notice in them i also felt like they have dark circles so now this is nothing bad but yeah they could be could have the habit of like working over time or working overnight and so they might be a night owl to seeing that this painting is so dark and full of indigo and dark blue so they might have a habit of working at night although i feel like that might change if you come into their life because you might teach them how to be more conscious of their health and how to take care of their health better and i feel like you might help them strike a good balance between working and resting your future spouse the reason why they don't rest is because they feel like they have to work all the time if they are going to provide for you but if you yourself are making them feel relaxed like listen you don't have to do all this you don't have to you know work to the point of exhaustion you don't have to do that for me and that's going to make them feel relaxed that's going to make them feel calm that okay somebody has my back i don't have to like i'm not alone and so they can rest you know that's what i'm feeling so time to add the final details now i'm adding some final details with a metallic pen i feel like there's something missing though yeah let's begin
I feel like your future spouse is going to be like a pillar of strength for you. I already said that they are going to support you in everything, but they are really your they are going to be like your personal pillar of strength and they are going to have your back through everything. They'll never make you feel like you have to go through something alone. They are always going to be there. For those of you that might have some kind of a physical disease or a disability, you don't have to worry because th this person is not bothered by such things. Such things. I don't know why I said that. I said it that way, but yeah, they are not bothered by such things. They're like, oh, it's not important. It doesn't bother me. I feel like in terms of uh, their love for you, it doesn't bother them. Like, it's not something that they would reject you for or, you know, make fun of you for. It's a lot of... Um, it's a really, really, really mature energy. So they are going to be extremely respectful and supportive at the same time. Very respectful and supportive. The, you know, this looks like that there's some crystal balls floating around in space or something. And they are hanging by these threads. It's beautiful. But that's what it looked like to me all of a sudden. So yeah, they are really going to be... If you have a, an ideal type or have a like okay this is the kind of person i want i see that you're getting the exact like kind of person that you want i see you getting that I'm sorry if I didn't talk a lot in this video, but I just get so absorbed in the energy and in the painting. <laughs> I know you're probably like, no, but I want to hear what they have to say. And I want to tell you what they have to say. But, you know, sometimes I just get so... I just love the collective's energy here that I forget that I'm not doing this for fun. I'm doing a reading. It's just such an enjoyable experience for me. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the song Life Goes On by August D. It's also from his newest album. And um, the song Life Goes On uh, was actually released by a band called BTS when covid hit and they wanted to give hope to the world that life is going to go on and things are going to be fine you know we don't have to stay stuck in 
the past we don't have to stay stuck in what happened to us because we can always change things because a lot of people were feeling discouraged including them themselves because of covid and everything so yeah they wanted they made that song as a way to give hope to people I was in, just drawn to put these tiny tiny dots inside the circle so that's what I'm doing here I also feel like your future spouse has gone through something that was really tough for them somehow like I already said that right they have gone through something but I'm strongly feeling but that for a lot of you um, this was something that really broke them I'm seeing for some of you it was an ex-partner that really broke them but I feel like even if they have some issues with trusting you i do see that they will overcome all obstacles to kind of get to you and to kind of make you theirs but in a positive way in a not in a negative way I also feel like if you struggle with being confident, this person is going to help you be very confident about yourself. They will really make you feel like a star. And it's not even that they are it's it's not even that they intend to make you feel confident, it's just that they like seeing you feel good about yourself and that's what they want they want you to feel good about yourself because in their eyes you are a king you are a queen so they're like no you have no reason to hate yourself because look at you you're perfect this is what this is how they see you and i feel like if you have if you suffer from some kind of anxiety or depression or um, some kind of physical disability or uh, a skin condition i'm seeing for some of you like vitiligo they it doesn't bother them 
even if it's genetic or autoimmune it doesn't bother them they don't care they don't care i just heard them say just want to make them feel loved so i feel like all they really want to do is make you feel loved if you used to date people that had ulterior motives or you know they only were there with you because they wanted something from you this person is not like that this person is far from being like that all in all i feel like it's a very wholesome kind of relationship where you don't have to worry about anything because they will probably take care of everything everything I'm also seeing a sunrise for some reason that is your spirit guides are showing me a sunrise. Oh okay okay. Hmm. So if you have Leo placements your person could have Leo placements but it's a very sun like energy very bright and positive and beautiful. just want to be there for you they have no ulterior motives they are stressing on that that they have no ulterior motives they just want to love you truly I'm also seeing buildings in this painting for some reason and I'm seeing a man dressed in like a model desk man dressed in all black so they might be wearing all black when you meet them this is very specific so take it how it resonates it might not resonate with everyone
your future spouse also might be a loner or might not be they lo- they love they like people but they might not like to hang out with like for no reason at all they don't i feel like they don't go out if there's no reason to go out you know what i mean like they won't go out to party or smoke and stuff like that they seem very conscious of their own self to me yeah they are again coming in to say um they are stressing on the fact that they don't want to hurt you so if this is an ex partner that you will be marrying this is only for some of you okay only for some of you not for everyone so if this is an ex partner that is coming back and you're taking them back then they are stressing on the fact they don't want to hurt you now i can't guarantee that they won't hurt you but they don't want to hurt you at least I don't know why I keep seeing little hearts so I'm going to put that in the painting I didn't plan it but you know I don't do these paintings for myself or you know by myself so I'm just going to add little hearts because that is what your spirit guides are showing me yeah they're like put one inside the crystal balls put one inside the crystal balls so that's what i'm doing and yeah your future spouse is saying hope you can see my heart when you meet me I hope you can see my heart when you meet me. Not my face, not my physical appearance, but my heart. If your future spouse is good looking, they might be tired of people being attracted to them just because they look attractive. You know. they're like yeah this person is only this person only likes me because i'm pretty or i'm handsome and if i wasn't they probably wouldn't even turn around to look at me and i feel like that's not something that they like being like this um being called handsome or i, I mean i'm sure they like it but they i'm being taken to the fact that they might not enjoy it all the time yeah
but yeah as for the physical appearance i did get that they look very fox like very sharp eyes very beautiful um they are also highly intellectual and intelligent probably could be into literature or could like reading literature um they have an extensive knowledge about a lot of things and they will let you know about it they let you know about it and as for personality traits i see them being very sharp witted blunt with their words but not rude just um, um yeah honest and they don't like to fake things so very honest for sure and they are for some of you like i already said um they might not be your type but have some patience or you know the divine is at work so trust the divine because they will never misguide you or they will never make you end up with the wrong person so trust spirit plans i feel a little bit impatience from you where you're like you know when am i going to meet this person i want to meet them right now and divine order is at play so patience my love patience <laughs> that's what they're saying patience this person is coming into your life patience i feel like for some of you they look like this they look i mean they don't have blue skin and everything but blue hair and they could dye they could have dyed their hair blue but not for most of you that's not the case i do feel like um they might have bluey eyes though or lighter shade of eyes so they could have like sharp eyes chiseled jawline full lips no matter the gender but it suits them it suits them even if they are a man and they have like chiseled jawline and uh, you know um not masculine features if you could call it that they still look pretty good i we did get that they are perceived as physically attractive by genders different genders so yeah that is true that is true they are still attracted though but they are only attracted to you even though people might perceive them as attractive they could be widely popular in their community or be widely known I think this is it. This is the painting. So we looked at nationality, we looked at physical appearance, some personality traits, um how they are going to take care of you. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, they are love languages, uh, love language as well. Mm, yeah. This is my first time painting like a masculine energy but yeah it's predominantly masculine but not completely you know because i we all genders have um, i mean everybody has a mix of feminine and masculine energy which is why i wanted to keep this 
energy based and not so much physical appearance based right so i hope you had fun watching because i definitely enjoyed enjoyed this painting so so much and i was so i am so inspired i have so many ideas for the next paintings as well now so yeah stay tuned for that i'm going to be making a part 2 for this where i will draw a feminine energy because this i this fe this i feel like was predominantly a masculine energy so i'm going to be painting like a feminine energy as well so yeah if you want to watch that if you are a man watching this and you are into women then i am going to be uploading that in about a week or so so stay tuned for that and yeah you don't have to be discouraged just because i this was a masculine energy but yeah the hearts were really unexpected so i feel like the love that they have for you might be something that you do not expect the love that they hold for you you know in the middle of the painting for some reason it looked like to me as if they were like submerged in water somehow like submerged in an ocean like floating on the surface of the ocean that's what i saw for some reason because i was called to put a darker shade of paint here right which is this one a mix of dioxazine purple and alice rain crimson from daniel smith so it felt very much to me as if they were not drowning i would say but very peaceful energy but drowning in your love so very passionate but very peaceful at the same time it's not going to be toxic it is passionate but it's not toxic so if you are if 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 i feel like some of you are worried about that oh my god like i don't want a toxic love i don't want all that drama i don't want you know that those games that push and pull i'm tired of that it's not going to be like that it's not a cat and mouse game but it's still they'll still keep things interest interesting like they, it's not it's not boring you know it's not passionless it's not um boring yeah that's what i feel strongly okay and that was the final one i think the painting is now complete i so i think this was your painting and i'm going to start with removing the tapes the peeling of the tapes is actually my favorite part when so i think this was your painting i don't think i want to add anything else your spirit guides are not calling me to add anything else and this is what it looks like i'm happy with how it turned out i think it looks beautiful what do you guys think let me know in the comments um if this reading resonated with you and if um, you like this style of energy paintings that i do if you want me to change anything you know let me know if you have any reading recommendations let me know those as well i'd be happy to see them and um yeah i think this is what the this is what it looks like i'm going to hold it up if you want to take a photo just take a photo and keep it as your wallpaper or something you know because this painting is an energy painting so it contains the energy of your future spouse and i mean if you liked it you can do that if you don't like it then obviously don't but if you like this painting you can keep a screenshot or something as your wallpaper so that you're always exposed to this energy and that will help you kind of bring the energy of your future spouse faster or it would also serve as a protection against evil eye and 
malicious intentions or anybody because your future spouse is highly protective so i did feel that so they will naturally their energy will naturally protect you but yeah so i'll hold it up so if you want to see the details this is what it looks like you see those little hearts yeah i was not planning them but yeah and the lips oh my god your future spouse has beautiful beautiful lips look at that isn't that beautiful you can keep this as your wallpaper just this part i feel like um, for a lot of you you might be drawn to this area of your future spouse like the neck and the upper shoulders and lips and the jawline you might be drawn to this area of your future spouse or vice versa they might be drawn to that in you wow doing energy paintings really makes me realize that i love doing this so much and the next part is the face and the face turned out also quite beautiful this is what it looks like the hair also turned out to be quite beautiful i use soda light genuine by the way for the hair just in case if you are an artist yourself you want to know what colors i use then yeah oh wait i missed this I also feel like it's a fated connection with your future spouse because I don't know why but I keep reading this as a crystal balls in the air. So it's a very fated connection. For sure. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Focus, focus. Yeah. And these are the eyes of your future spouse, very fox-like. I feel like some of you really like the texture of watercolor paper. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And this is the upper region of the painting. You see how the colors are so blended in? I feel like they are just going to become one with you. I want to become one with you. And so this was the painting. I hope you liked this reading, you guys. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any reading recommendations or anything like that. I love your energy. I would love to have you around. So please consider subscribing and becoming a permanent part of my family and yeah like i already said this is an energy painting so that is why i will i am basically i basically painted the energy of your future spouse okay so don't come at me in the comments saying oh this painting is weird you know this face is blue and the eyes are not great like because i my intention was not to draw the physical appearance it was to draw the internal magical ap appearance the internal anatomy how they are on the inside the energy so this is an energy painting that's why i call this an energy painting because these are channeled energy paintings that i channel from your spirit guides and this is what they showed me so yeah your future spouse does not have blue skin don't worry <laughs> don't worry but yeah this is what it looks like so if you like this painting if you loved it so far then close your eyes and just tap into the energy and feel the energy of your future spouse kind of washing over you how do you feel how do you feel breathe it in breathe out now open your eyes and look into their eyes look into their eyes there is a message for you have you heard it they directly wanted to say it to you not through me but to you directly
okay i think they have said it to you and i'm gonna be taking your leave now i hope you had as much fun as i did and as always i love you so much i cherish you and even if you stop by this channel for the first time i love you so so much and i'm sending you so much love so much peace and harmony and clarity and i hope that your future spouse your divine counterpart your soulmate whoever you're wishing for they come in for you early and quickly until then i hope you watch future spouse readings to keep you company um yeah i really loved your energy and i loved having you here honestly i re i don't know who your future spouse is or you know what exactly th their exact physical appearance but i do feel like you are somebody who's incredibly lucky to have them and they are incredibly lucky to have you as well i don't know why but your but your spirit guides actually oh my god confirmation did you hear that your spirit guides are so loud but i don't know if, if yeah here do you see this part right here on the cheekbone there's two silver lines that i did now i was not planning that but that just tells me you know that your person has a very highly masculine beautiful beautiful energy beautiful highly masculine energy and this is your finished painting as some for some reason i don't want to say bye to you because i loved your energy so much and your future spouse so much i'm wishing your future spouse the best i hope they achieve everything that they wanted to achieve and they can come into union with you quickly now it's complete oh the burden i spoke at the same time so now it really is complete i don't think there's anything missing anymore yeah if you like this energy painting this channeled energy painting i'll leave a link for other readings that feature channeled energy paintings for you so you can watch them um yeah consider liking this video if you like this artwork and this painting consider subscribing let me know in the comments and i am going to say bye to you otherwise i will keep on talking and talking and talking so i am officially going to say bye to you I was also reminded of the rain I, because of this background. I was reminded of the rain. Now, my original plan was not this background, but your spirit guides kind of showed me that and that is why I stuck to the vision that your spirit guide showed me and this is what they showed me. So, yeah. Look at that heart. Look at that heart in the hair. That one heart. Gorgeous, beautiful heart. Yeah, your future spouse's heart belongs to you. Your future spouse's heart belongs to you. And with that, I'm going to say bye. I love you so, so much. Bye. I hope you have a lovely week, evening, night, afternoon, wherever you are. Sending you love and your spirit guides love and your future spouse's love too. Bye.